One of the big selling points with the Grass Valley EDIUS editing system is its performance with different file types. And my experience of it has very much been that if you've got a media file, it is probably going to play inside of EDIUS. And it'll probably play in real time, and it'll probably let you put effects on it. And it's just a very, very flexible system. You can drag and drop clips directly from Windows into the asset bin. Here's the asset bin here. I'm just going to resize this a little so you can see more clearly what I'm doing. But I'm just going to show you how you import items from inside of EDIUS. Let's just look at some regular media files, first of all. I can right-click if I want and choose Add File, and I can also click on the Add Clip button. Now, sometimes you're going to find that the naming conventions aren't 100% consistent in EDIUS, and one of the ones that catches people out is if you go to the File menu and choose Add Clip, that's not going to import a clip into the asset bin. It's just going to open it directly in the player monitor here. And you can work that way if you like. You can take things directly into the timeline. But just to be clear, that's not the same result as clicking on the Add Clip button on the asset bin or right-clicking. The way I normally import is to double-click. And so you can see there's a lot of functionality that's repeated in different parts of the application, and this is perfectly normal. You'll find that with nonlinear systems everywhere. So now that I've got my open dialog up here, I can see some media that I've got on my hard drive. If I select a clip, I get information about it. I get a thumbnail. I can scrub through here and, and see what I think. And I've got this tick box, Show Properties. Now, again, I'm kind of short on screen space here, but if I just show you, if I untick this box and cancel out of that, if I select a clip, nothing happens. If I tick the Show Properties box, I get the standard clip properties. This is the same information I would get if I right-clicked on the clip in the asset bin and chose Properties, or selected it and pressed the Alt-Enter keyboard shortcut. This is a really nice feature, I think. It's just one of those little things, but it means that now I've ticked that box, I can click through these items, and I can get a lot more information that, that is relevant to me. This is just Windows stuff here, you know, the date and the format and the size and so on. What I want to know is what format is it? I want to know the field order, the aspect ratio. This is the video information in the Clip Properties panel. And it's a cute feature that I can have that pop up automatically. Let's just come out of that. So I'm just going to select the first item here, hold down the Shift key, and select the last. And you'll notice I've got a tick box here, Transfer to Project Folder. If I tick that box, EDIUS will take a copy of the media, just as it is in the same format. It's not going to transcode it or convert it or rewrap it but it'll take a copy and move that copy into your project folder. Remember, when you create a project, there's the option to create a folder for it automatically as well. Now, this is a really good idea if you're importing media from an external device. Maybe someone's given you an asset on a USB stick, or they've uh, given you a CD of some kind with some media. You're not going to want to leave the media on the original drive. But I don't need to do that. I'm happy to just link to the original media. So I'll leave that as it is. And having made my selections, I'm going to click Open. And there we are. So I've got my media imported, and now I can just double-click and play it. And it doesn't really matter what the format is. It's just going to work. And I can see here I don't have any additional metadata attached to these. And I know that's to be expected because I exported these from a different formatted and transcoded them to make them smaller so you'd be able to download them to run through these lessons. Of course, when I exported, that created new files, and that broke the link to the original metadata in the camera. If you have already organized your media, and I'll just remove these items so I can show this to you. I'm going to select them with the Shift key and hit Delete. This is a standard kind of Windows file selection thing. If you've got your media organized, instead of double-clicking on the right-hand panel of the asset bin, if you right-click on the left-hand panel, you'll notice that as well as making new folders, you can also open a folder. Now, this is different to opening a media file. I'm just going to browse through to my assets here. And I've got, for example, here, my video folder has two subfolders. I've got some uh, media of people doing BMX stuff, uh, some multicam shoot, and then I've got a uh, little bit of media inside a separate two-week rule folder. If I select the top-level video folder and then click OK, there we go, EDIUS is going to replicate the folder structure inside my project. Now, it's important to be clear that this replication, and you can see it's just put it inside the root folder. There it is. I've got my BMX media. I've got my two-week rule. This 
process generates an imitation of the original folder structure. It's not creating a link to it. So for example, if I move this two week rule item back to the root folder and take it out of the video folder, I can just drag and drop to do that. That's just happened inside of EDIUS. This has not updated my timeline. So again, when you import folders in this way, it's a big time saver if you've taken the time to pre-organize on your hard drive, which is a really good idea to do. But it's kind of a one-way trip. This isn't showing me the contents of my hard drive. It's just imitating my hard drive. So again, importing, very straightforward. Double-click or right-click and choose Import File or Add File. There is no special treatment if you're working with graphics media or video of any particular kind. You can just get to work straight away. Just one last point about importing here. If I go back into the open dialog, there's a tick box for sequence clip. You might be familiar with this option in other applications. If I have a series of still images that are exported perhaps from an animation application, then I can just select them and they usually have a number extension on the name. So of course these are all just different images from video files. But if I had, say, Arrive 001, Arrive 002, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on, I would just select those, tick the sequence clip option, and then EDIUS will automatically generate a single clip in my asset bin rather than however many it is. If this was a 10-second sequence, this could be 250 or 300 images, but I'll get a single item in the asset bin. So if you're getting assets from animators, sometimes they like to export image file sequences rather than video, which is completely fine for EDIUS.